Hey there everybody, this is Kelly at Envy Soap Works and I'm getting ready to work on a batch of soap that's going to be scented in um, Cucumber Mint. Um, I really wanted to use this other fragrance oil that I've had. It's called Garden Mint and it really smells just like fresh mint out of the garden. Like if you pick the leaf and you like tear it in half, it smells just like a real mint leaf. Um, however, when I looked at the usage rate for this, it was like 1.4% for soap and it's like <laughs> it was just really it would be um, such a small amount of fragrance oil for my batch size that I decided I wasn't going to bother because it you know it's not enough so I picked another one of the mint um, kind of fresh mint fragrances it's cucumber mint and what I'm going to do color wise is um, white and green basically. So I have um, this green, it's called Fruit Green. This is from Micah's and More. This one is their Apple Green. It's a very beautiful kind of like lime green. And then this is um, one of the Flare Micah's from Nurture's Nurture Soap, I believe. And um, I've never used it before, but it is so sparkly. So that's just a really pretty kind of bluish teal color that I'm going to do. So those are the three colors that I'm going to do with, like I said, lots of white. I do have some um, poppy seeds here that I'm going to use in the white. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is have a lot of the soap be white and kind of do like a little... Um, in the pot swirl with the colors just kind of right in the middle and um, and then more white on the top we'll, we'll see how it goes I've never used this fragrance so I don't know how it behaves so I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, additive blended Now I'm using a recipe that I've never used before. Um, in this recipe I have, um, it's palmas olive oil, I have coconut and palm, avocado oil, babasu oil, rice bran, oil, sal butter, that's the um, sal, S-A-L butter, and castor oil. So it's just a little bit uh, different than my favorite mix, but I've been wanting to try the sal butter, so I uh, created a new little recipe to test out. <clears throat> okay. But the additives are all the same. I still have my goat milk um, powder, kale and clay. And I'm going to do uh, coconut milk as I get emulsified. I have Tessa Silk in my light solution as well as sodium lactate. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. It's actually feeling kind of um, thick. Um, but my batter is pretty cold. I'm in the high 70s. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for my pour. I think I'm changing my mind. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I want to do, so I'll probably end up just kind of winging it when I get to that point. I do that a lot. So we shall see. I need to get another tall and skinny mold. I really, really love the tall and skinny molds, but I only have one um, that doesn't bow out um, on the side. So I have, that one's in use right now, so I'm gonna use my Essential Depot mold. But I just like the shape of the tall and skinny, so I need to get some more of those. I'm going to split up for my little colors here. And then I will whiten my base and add the poppy seeds.
Okay, everybody, so these are the colors, and I'm, I think that's really um, pretty for um, a cucumber and mint soap. And the poppy seeds in here look really neat, too. I didn't go overboard with the poppy seeds. I just want there to be a little bit. Um, I don't want it to be super scratchy, but just, you know, just a little bit of those. So I think that it's going to look very nice. Now, I don't know how this is going to behave. I hope I don't have any ricing. Um, we shall find out. Start here. Just mix a little bit in and see how it goes. It smells very nice. This is a very fresh and clean fragrance. Not too minty. I don't like the mint ones that... It's like too paste like I don't want my soap to smell like toothpaste you know so this is more of a nice um, gardeny natural mint rather than like you know toothpaste or gum <laughs> and you can smell the cucumber too it's, it's it's a nice mix happy with this no reaction no ricing no acceleration it's behaving very nicely. So, this is going to be a winner, I think. Nice. Okay, so that went really well. Um, this didn't accelerate one tiny bit. No acceleration, no negative reaction whatsoever. This um, friggin' soil really behave great and my batter is like water again I've been having really fluid batter lately and it's it's nice so I am still undecided on what I want to do um, for my pour here um, just not really sure so I'm going to start off with a little of my white base Actually, quite a bit of my white base. <clears throat> oh, it smells really nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay, everybody, so that is that. I got everything down in the mold, and I really love this um, color combination together. That, a really sparkly blue, and then the apple green are just beautiful together. I love the combination. So, um, hopefully I'm going to like the inside. I ended up just kind of doing a simple little drop pour. Um, nothing too fancy so now here on the top it's very simple I just got it it's very stripy so I'm just gonna get um, a toothpick and just kind of do this There. 
but I think that right there is just perfect. Nothing too fancy, um, but just a very nice, pretty, calming, very water-like pattern on the top. Um, let me see if I can get this over here for you guys to see better. I'm afraid I'm going to spill it if I do any different. So, anyway, that is that. So, tomorrow when I cut this, I will bring you guys along. See you in a sec. Okay, here we are back with cucumber mint soap. I'm getting ready to cut into this one. So, um, you can see here the pattern that I got on the top. I did go ahead and leave it after I um, just did the initial swirl on the top. I think that's um, really pretty and very fitting for uh, this just simple uh, fragrance. I love the look of the poppy seeds in there. So this one should be a neat one. Um, now I just kind of did a very simple type of kind of like drop swirl in like three straight lines down the middle. I didn't do any swirling with the hanger or anything like that. So um, I, I'm not really sure what to expect from the inside of this one, but Let's go ahead and cut it and see what we got. Now I really love the colors. Ooh, and I really love the way that that turned out. How cool you could, yay, you could see the three individual lines that I did. Um, I didn't want it to just be down the middle, you know, and I'd get that kind of U-shaped thing. So I did, um, that's why I was doing it in rows of three. And I was kind of hoping to get three separate u-shapes and it looks like that is kind of what I got so that is nice and I love the look of the poppy seeds in here um, I used them very sparingly I didn't go overboard with them because um, I didn't want this to be a really scratchy bar um, but I think that those little uh, those little seeds in there just add a whole lot of interest. Now this fragrance today is extremely nice and fresh. I kind of had mixed feelings about it um, when I first got it. I'm not a huge mint fan. Um, I really like cucumber scents, but it's the mint that I'm not crazy about. But this is a really nice uh, mix, and then especially today in the soap, it um, is just very fresh. So. This is a nice one. I'm happy. Happy with the fragrance and I'm happy with the colors and the way that this uh, design has turned out. Nice. Pretty. Ooh, look at this side. That's neat. Just like a different, different look. That's pretty cool. I like the uh, two colors of green in here. And that uh, teal color is really nice. Very soothing. Very soothing colors. Ooh, cool. Another one that has a little bit different look neat very neat that's pretty Ooh, the top of this one's really neat. Kind of has like the look of a peacock swirl. Sorry I'm being quieter than usual. My throat is just really, <clears throat> really bothering me. Okay, and then this should be my last cut. Interesting patterns that I got in here. This is a nice soap. I, I, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, 
we didn't want anything elaborate for this I just wanted something that just looked really you know kind of organic and very fresh and clean so I like the way that that has turned out all right you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing hope you enjoyed the making of cucumber mint soap and i will see you guys next time bye